um, and it's two, two, two meters from that new elevation the proposed house. However, this elevation contains windows, the stairs, a landing, and a bathroom. <coughs> These are not considered to be habitable um, room windows, and the location of the proposed dwelling is considered to be acceptable. The indicative layout demonstrates that two additional dwellings can be accommodated on the site without compromising and separation distances. With regards to the loss of trees on the site, the council's tree officer stated that those trees identified being removed are not worthy of tree preservation order. A number of trees will, however, be retained on the front boundary, ensuring that the site will continue to provide a positive impact in terms of visual amenity. There are no objections from a highway traffic point of view, subject to an additional condition um, which requires details of the proposed vehicle access to be submitted for approval. It's therefore considered that the proposed scheme is acceptable insofar as the creation of two additional dwellings would not harm the unity of neighbouring properties or the overall character or and appearance of the street scene, and is therefore compliant with both national and local plan policies and is recommended for approval subject to the attached conditions. Two additional dwellings on this site will look particularly out of character 
or unacceptably harm amenities of neighbouring property? Well, that's a bit of a matter of opinion. Um, um, different people have different opinions on that, it's best to say. And if you write that something will unacceptably harm the amenity, then it implies that there is some harm to the amenity for the neighbouring property. Um, I do have some photographs, Chair, if I can just uh, pass the clip around. <laughs> they show some of the views um, from number 39 Martin Close, and you can see how uh, the residents there are concerned about the effect on their property. House number two is within a metre of the boundary of the site, as shown on this outline application. And uh, a lot of light does come into the house through the non um, habitable room windows, but it is very effective, therefore, and the plan shows you the concerns that the residents have. <coughs> It shows you how narrow the access is and it gives you an indication about the spacing of properties in Martin Close and uh, they're not as close as these other properties would end up being to the people who are there. In the report that we haven't yet considered that's on um, the agenda for item 4, um, on page 11 in fact, policy HS4 is quoted to do it more fully as it, as it says it permits housing development providing it is of a scale which relates well to the surrounding area and would not harm the character. And on page 11 it also refers to in particular with regard to existing densities. And uh, I believe that this is going to be a lot more close together and a lot more dense than what you see not too close as it is. Chair, I'll give the committee a chance to speak to that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Does anybody else have any comments to make? David? Yeah, thank you, Chair. Just very briefly, I think it would be interesting to see a plan of where they are proposing to put these dwellings, albeit we know that that's not a firm decision on their part and that will be part of the reserve matters. I find it peculiar to see they've chosen to park it on the north, to park these two houses, if you like, or locate them, on the northwest boundary of the site when to some extent it would have been more sensible to put them on the south-east boundary of the site because they seem to be unacceptably close to Martin Close, 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 um, and therefore I find that hard to accept. The problem would be if we were to approve this application, those locations which are indicative would be deemed by default, I suppose, to be acceptable to this committee, and I'm not too sure they would be. The other thing that I'm concerned about, there is a comment saying that mentioning dormer bungalows, in this proposed layout also shows the property as a dormer bungalow. I would want to see a five-story development here, you know, a townhouse type development. I think we ought to be, if we are going to approve it, and I'm not saying we are, um, I think we ought to be able to put some condition in that it doesn't go above the height of the adjacent properties and stick out like a storm pump. But maybe the officers could give me some advice on how that might be accommodated. But I, I do have concerns about the indicative location. It would be helpful for me if the officers could just put quickly on the screen the indicative plan of where the air development is proposed to locate them. Fine. So as we can see from that, House 3 is very close to the rear of House 46, and House 2 is right up against the back garden, or close to the back garden, of the houses of Martin Close nearby. I think we just need to see that in the internet. I think if I was going to build this, and I am a builder, I would have probably put number three on the other side of the site and found a way of getting into the boat properties that would have been more appropriate. But of course, we can't turn something down like this on those grounds because those sites are only, those locations are only currently indicative. We can't turn it down on the grounds of where they might be located at this stage. But I'd like the officer's advice on some of those points that I've made because I'm not happy with this development. Thank you to you, Chair. Um, uh, as Joe mentioned in the presentation, this is a full outline, so all matters are reserved for subsequent <coughs> approval. Um, and the the, um, the plan that's up on the screen in front of members at the moment is, is only for indicative purposes. It's to show roughly how um, the site could accommodate an additional two dwellings. 
um, but the sighting, the appearance, all of those things are not fixed. So if outline consent was granted, it would only really be establishing the principle of two additional dwellings on the site. And as part of any future reserved matters application, the council still has significant control over um, things like scale, height, appearance, sighting, all of those issues um, could still be controlled um, as, as part of a future reserved matters application. Okay, so that's how I'm just about to see if we continue with that. 
so we have to the amendment amendment can be lost. So uh, we're going to vote again now on the officer's recommendation for approval. Uh, so Denise wants to propose it. Who wants to second it? Steve will second it. So we've got Denise and Steve proposed from the second. So all those in favour of the officer's recommendation to approve this um, item. And against, okay, the application has been approved. Thank you very much.
I show all my land as being part of the application. Why is it being really separated off as half the land owned by corporates? <coughs> you, you would only put your you would only put the application site in edged in red. Any other land that you owned would be edged in blue. So the application site only would be edged in red. But if you owned any other land adjacent to it or elsewhere then you would edge that in blue. It's only the application site that is edged red. And why is that area, the application site, and not the entire piece of land that is one site that is field press? Because it's exposed to that area of the site. The applicant is designated that.